make it your business to see my boy, huh? Well, you're a fine one to talk. Look, I'm not gonna argue with you, Tony. You get around to see Mama, or else I'm gonna... You're gonna what? Yeah, you're gonna what? Make a move and you get Mama's sidewalk all sticky. What do you want? I don't want nothing. <laughs> Legs Diamond wants. Tell me. Nobody will get hurt. Look, Legs, I don't know what you got in your mind, but... Give me a chance. I can square your beef. I've taken all I'm gonna from you, Mafia rats. You shut up! Kid, where did Leonardo stash that shipment of opium he hijacked from me? Don't talk, Tony. Don't talk. Ah! Come on, Buzzy. Put him in the car. We'll take him for a little ride. I've been advised many times that it might be a good idea if I forgot what I know about the Union Sportivo Italiano, the mafioso, the mafia. But what I know, what I saw of the operation of the mafia in the 20s, I can never forget. And I think the story's best told for whatever it's worth to help prevent it happening again. In 1926, the New York branch of the mafia was headed by one Rafael Cardello. He preferred that if you refer to any of the members, you speak of them as the Brotherhood. Oh, Brotherhood. Kane slew Abel. But what Lucky Silver did to make the wealth and power of the Mafia his makes Kane look like an amateur. Yes, there are many unbelievable but true stories of that incredible lawless period known as the 20s. But the exploits, conspiracies of Ricardo Silva are among the most incredible of them all. I'm Bonnie Roditsky, one of the 27 men on the gangster squad. Shock troops of the police Hello, department in the city of New York. Really? Really again, huh? Yeah, the Silver Brothers. This yeah. one's dead, this one's still alive, and he's breathing. What? Hi, Doc. Hello, Carl. Who cut you up? What did they do to me? What did they do to me? To me. Come on, Rico, come on. Tell me who it was. I'll leave on the score. Who are you, huh? Rodetsky. Come on. Who was it? Who carved you up? Rodetsky? Yeah. Eat your own heart. Right, wise guy, if that's the way you want it. But I'll eat yours out first. They killed your brother. Doesn't hurt. Hmm? All right, try this one on for size. The doctor says you'll probably lose your eye. And the way your face is carved up, all you need to go into business is a tin cup. Rico, come on, do one decent, clean thing in your life. Tell me who it was. I'll put him away. At least you get that satisfaction. I'll make my own satisfaction. <laughs> If you live long enough, and I don't know whether you're that lucky. <laughs> Take him, boy. The newspaper reporter picked up my casual statement and twisted it so that it came out in print. If you live, they ought to call you lucky. He lived. If I knew then what I was to find out not too many months later, I wouldn't have dismissed this routine questioning by admitting to myself no one has yet made a member of the Mafia talk. Elberon, New Jersey, the home of Raphael Cardillo, the dictatorial head of the New York branch of the Brotherhood, the Mafia. Raphael had come a long way in the 22 years since he got off the boat. He was very proud of his Americanization. One of the ways he showed it was with the noble gesture of importing and adopting two of his sister's children. He treated Leonardo Nuccio as if he were his own blood son and made him heir apparent to the dynasty he felt he was building. But Trina, he loved like a father loves a daughter. I'm not so sure he'll come. He'll come. It was his idea. Leonardo, Lucky Silva has changed. Lucky? <laughs> He's changed his name, too. Huh? The newspapers gave it to him and he likes it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tell me, what else does he like, huh? 
I'd slap your face if I didn't know you had too much to drink. No, I can't have too much to drink. I mean what I say. Maybe you can fool uh, Papa Raphael, but you can't fool me. Leonardo, why don't you grow up? No, no, no. You got it bad for Silver. You pretend uh, out of the goodness of your heart you went to the hospital a couple of times a week to see him, huh? Papa's right. You're no good. No. You can't get a man, huh? And so you wait till one is on his back in the bed and you, you got him where he can't run away. Leonardo, let go of me. You're hurting my... No, head. it's the truth. I'm your brother. I got a right to know. He hasn't let me see him since they took the bandage off his face. That's too bad. Just think, you could have kissed it for him. Come on in, eh? come on in. I'll buy you a drink. Are they here? Well, sure, they're here. They're all here, just like you wanted. I mean, they've been waiting for you three months. They can wait a couple of minutes longer. Come on, I'll buy you a drink, huh? I don't want a drink. Hey, look, Ricardo, I want to talk to you for a minute before you go in there. Huh? They call me lucky now. Oh, what, what, are you a kid or something? You see a name in the papers that you're impressed? If the press boys call you a jerk, you're gonna change your name to jerk? I mean, yeah. <laughs> now, look, don't play with me. I'm warning you. Don't play with me. Look, we've been friends a long time, Leonardo. You watch your health. You keep it that way, huh? Who knows? From the bit in took, it might have affected his head. Anyway, we'll find out. He must have cut out a piece of his brain. How else you figure? He asked the Brotherhood, no vendetta. If a leg's a dime and a marble killed my brother, <laughs> I'd want to know revenge. That's no good. Sure, uh, he's out of his act. Uh, ha, welcome home, oh, Mark. Yeah, Let's see. Mario. How are you? Mario. We can't wait to find out what's such a big deal. You gotta call a special meeting. Huh? Did he tell you like he told me, huh? No, he, he didn't tell nothing uh, yet. Well, no, well, tell him already. Our friend, he's got a big deal. From now on, we gotta call him Lucky. Eh? Lucky! Yeah, well, thank you. All of you. I suffered great grief and deep pain. Only because the brother would give me its strength was I lucky to come through. I love you all and I would die for you. Very nice speech, Silver. You tell us what you're going to tell us. Look, when Legs Diamond, when Legs Diamond cuts me up and kills my brother, I want to see his blood in the gutter. I want to pour it like wine and see the ground soak it up and the sun beat on it and, 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 and fill the air with its stink. But they got me strapped to a bed. I'm so wild with hatred. I, I eat myself with hatred. Yeah, so how come you turned the other cheek, huh? Because I got the idea. Ah, uh, you are even ahead. You're talking riddles. Come on, it's getting pretty late. Oh, look. What's the big idea, huh? What's the good idea? You're gonna send Legs Diamond a medal for killing your brother? No. I'm gonna send Legs Diamond an invite to a meet. You all think the brother of the mafiosos are so big and important, huh? Well, how could I be so big and important? When our chap is still doing hijacking and penny any rackets, second rate numbers games, two bit hijacking, huh? You don't like your operation, huh? So we make a special consideration and we let you out. Maybe you'll be the first and the last brother to get out alive. Look, I don't want out. Uh, sometimes I think you all should go back to the old country. Hey, you hurry your tongue, boy! Look, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea the Brotherhood could become the biggest, most important organization in the whole country. In the whole of the USA. We make an organization with, with all the other mobs. Gara, Dutch Schultz, Zwillman. All the number one mobs with our Brotherhood at the head. We'll be like, like the body, like the eye of an octopus. And they'll be like, like the arms, the tentacles, eh? 
I tell you, he's out of his head. Yeah, like a Caesar. He was out of his head, too. I can see it in your eyes. My dear's right. Now, don't close your mind. You just think about it. Think about it. Just remember. Like an octopus. What makes you think the mobs will buy such organization? What makes you think they won't? They want it for the same reason you do. More money. Bigger power. Lots of protection. How are you going to sell the mob at the organization, huh? I tried it on you. I'll try it on them. Who are you going to talk to first? Lex Dime. I told you he's out of his head. Oh, no, 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 he's right. It's time you listen to me now, I ain't lucky. He's got you like a bunch of old hens sit around here. It's time you listen to the younger generation. He's got a wonderful idea. An octopus organization. Lucky? Trina, uh, I want to talk to you. You don't have to explain, Lucky. It ain't exactly pretty. was you, Legs, I wouldn't trust this bum and he fight it and I can throw the Brooklyn Bridge. Stop guessing. Of course. What makes you think I trust you? I'm thinking of your health if he wants to even a score. And if this meeting here's a fingering, boy, we're asking for it. Shut up, Buzzy. I'm thinking. If he breathes hard, blow his brains out. Get in. Thanks for showing, Lex. Save it. You gotta have something pretty interesting on your noggin. Or you wouldn't have been nuts enough to ask for this meeting. Cause I'm betting you ain't off your rocket. Look like, like I told you on the phone, or something you're gonna thank me, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm sure. You don't want to thank me for that little payoff I gave you last time we got together. Look, Marcus, look, you're no fool, huh? You know that if I'm willing to pass that off, I, I, I got something worthwhile. Yeah? That's why I took you up on this meeting. I'm dying to hear what's so important that it make you let bygones be bygones and turn the other cheek. <laughs> can you trust him? More than I can trust you. Okay. How would you like to double your gross without a quarter investment? Which operation? All of them, all of them. Rum running, bootlegging, numbers, narcotics. I poison. know my business. What's yours? Organization. Government. Like the USA, United States of America, 48. What do you think one lousy state would be like operating on its own? Well, the mobs are like the states before some joker come along and drop a paper and had them organized. We get together with all the mobs, all the number one mobs. The Dutchman, Waxy, Bugsy Siegel, Bobo's Willman, Capone, North, East, West, South, all of them. Lucky Silver sold Legs Diamond on the advantage of union. The strength, or muscle as they call it, they would have in joining together. Only one thing Lucky forgot in this pitch. There was no mention of the Mafia being the head. Even the gangsters wouldn't buy dictatorship. So, Lucky sold the American plan. Government by representation. Lucky Silver was flushed with the excitement of first success. He was a dedicated man with a mission. 
I gotta talk to I've Raphael. I've got to talk to you. Is Raphael home? Yes. Oh, good. Raphael and Leonardo hurt each other's throats. Well, let's know about that. Huh? They're fighting about you. Why? Raphael had the brotherhood heads for a meeting early this evening. They will not go along with your ideas. Well, why does that make Raphael fight with Leonardo, huh? Leonardo thinks you have a good idea. In an octopus organization. Oh, well, what do you think? I think the Brotherhood's few old men are not willing to give you a chance. Look, Katrina, I, I've known a, a lot of women in my time, you know? I mean, I wouldn't lie to you about that. I've, I've never met a woman that I, I feel like I do about you. That, that is as, as, as good as my mother. I told you not to bother. Yeah. So let me fuss. I don't see you that much that I shouldn't want to. Eat. It wouldn't hurt you. Make your mama happy, huh? I thank you before I taste it. Yeah, I can smell the flavor of the old country. If he doesn't eat his mama, I'll eat it for him. Good. I don't know why my boy didn't bring you to my table before. He brings lots of men that I don't like. Yeah. But you are the first one that I see something in the eyes that tell me that you are a good boy. Oh, come on, Mama, Mama, we got important business to talk. Now leave us alone already. Right? Oh, yeah, come on. You don't know how lucky you are to have such a mama like that, huh? Yeah, sure, sure. You say it was Raphael, Mario, and Ferrucci, huh? The turn thumbs down on my idea. Yeah, yeah, that's right. None of the others. No. All the others are with you, Lucky. I mean, they only those three. You know, if uh, you were the head man of the Brotherhood and I was uh, behind you, uh... Yeah. You know what we have to do to get what we want? Support me, I mean, all the way in, huh? The Bible. On the Bible. <laughs> if you could cook a lasagna like your mother does, maybe you can sell us your idea. So next time I get an idea first, I learn how to bake a cake. <laughs> what do you do? You give Leonard the, the pasta your mama cooked to find out who in the Brotherhood vote against your idea? Nobody say Leonardo said anything. Nobody have to. I always told you, Leonardo is not the man you think he is. You watch what you say, Ferrucci. Leonardo's drink too much. He want his men's drink too much. He's weak. He need a strength. Leonardo opened his big mouth to Lucky here when he should not. Maybe that's all right. Maybe next time he open his mouth, it's not so all right. When you talk about Leonardo, that's like you talk about me. Raphael. Raphael. Oh. Oh. Oh, they, they don't mean to hurt you, Raphael. The only reason they say such things is because uh, they feel so close. Uh, it's all. Uh, sit down. Come on, now. Sit down. I got a surprise for you, something you'll never forget. It's almost time. Sit down. Well, you see what I got. You don't like my surprise, I'll eat it myself. Raphael, it's not like Leonardo or your own blood. Here we are. The newspapers would carry blaring headlines. Gang war erupts. Three men. Raphael Cardillo, David Ferrucci, Mario Stromboli. To add to the list that by the time the Roaring Twenties had simmered down to a whimper, would total over 700. 
Newspapers could give their stories that extra bit of color by playing up Lucky Silver, pointing out that his name was fitting. He escaped death again by the graces of Lady Luck. They also would put two and two together and get the right answer. Anybody could add this up. Legs Diamond's mob had done the shooting. They were after the mafia heads to settle an old score. The same one they carved Lucky Silver up for months ago. It was an obvious situation. Too obvious. Silver? Lucky, don't you leave town without checking with me. I may want you as a material witness. What are you bothering me at a time like this, Rubitsky? Ain't you got no heart at all? If you want to persecute me personally, go ahead. But I was in the kitchen, didn't even see the shooting. I got all kinds of witnesses to substantiate. Yeah, that's what bothers me. How did you know to be in the kitchen? I'm lucky. What you gonna do about it? Give you enough rope? <laughs> so... Okay. The Brotherhood waited a week before they held a meeting to elect the man who would rule the Mafia. He would double-cross his own mother. He's the devil himself. You should be happy. You've always hated the Brotherhood. Lucky crossed me. He and the rest of the Mafia. Lucky wasn't even at the meeting. I'll kill him. So help me. On the Bible, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. So help me. I'll kill him. Go away. Please go away. What, are you sick or something? Come Look, Leonardo's drunk and wants to kill you. Why? They elected you to Raphael's chair. Leonardo says you lied to him. Yeah, what else did he tell you? Something I don't understand. What? You are as much to blame as he is. Where is a fool? Leonardo! Leonardo! Lucky! You got everything now, huh? Shut up! You, you poor son bum! You got the brotherhood, huh? You got the Patrina. You got me to do your killing for you, huh? How am I doing? I'm boss, huh? Did I do a good enough job for you, huh, and Mario and Ferrucci and Papa Raphael, huh? Anybody else you want to be hit, huh, boss? You shut up! I got one more thing for you. Oh, I'm gonna have a terrible hangover. Trigger, you listen to me. You forget tonight, huh? You forget tonight and everything will be all right. You hear me? You hear me? I hear you. Look, 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 look. I'll be back in half an hour. I'll be back tonight and make you forget everything. Everything you heard and saw. Do you understand? You understand? I understand. Okay, now look, I'm gonna get rid of him. I'll be back till I make you forget everything. You wait. Yeah, well, how much time have I got? Stall him. Katrina? Katrina? Lucky? There's no need to hurry now. I promise. I promise you won't be sorry. Lucky! You had enough rope. Lucky Silver, executed October 9th, 1926. The newspapers that gave him his name relegated his story to second page news.